Hello and welcome to Abraer on Vintage Show where we've got live steam going on, cars still arriving. It's going to be a, a really lovely day. It's a lovely mix of cars, some of the uh, familiar favourites because this is a local show and some of the more interesting stuff. But yeah, look at that. Beautiful. What a way to start. So we've got lots of tractors. They're going to be in action a bit later. So we're hoping to film those actually driving around. Should be a lot of fun. But let's head down the uh, classic car lineup. We've got Philip who organises the Aberyst with SVC meet. Uh, we went to uh, best personal number plate ever. Uh, next to that, a Jaguar XJS. Looks like a six cylinder one with a bonnet bulge. And then one of two Maxis we've got here today. <laughs> So this represents the earlier end of Maxi production. It's about in 1971, I think. And we've got a later one to look at as well. Morris Miners Traveller, or Morris Miners, generally. Very, very nice. You're darting your way around the portal, that's very good. Oh, look at this one. Beautiful patination going on. Do not paint this car, just wax it, it'll be fine. Uh, we're going to see plenty of MGBs today. Do like them on the uh, row style wheels. It's all good. Uh, Simon's Mini, actually with Simon. Good morning there. Hello. How are you doing there? Very well, thank you. How are you there? Uh, next to the Mini, a relative. It's the Land Crab. This is the pre production one. Uh, we've seen at the Aberyst with me a couple of times. Uh, then we've got Ian's beautiful Armstrong Sidley, but we still need to drive. We need to drive that one. Uh, pre selector gearbox, former. Um, Spitfire Pilot first owner, MG Magnet, beautiful cars, Gerard Palmer uh, designing those. Uh, we see this a lot, a little local Anglia. Uh, now got to stop Miss Hubner getting distracted by the Escort in the row behind. I'm not getting distracted. Are you sure? I'm focused. A very Welsh little Mini, complete with Dragon on the roof. Now we've got a Jaguar, uh, a sort of extreme size difference, Jaguar Mark 10 next to it absolutely enormous uh, under the bonnet you get i think the 3.8 liter version of the famous twin cam jaguar xk engine with triple oh. carburetors that was a bit, was a bit loud wasn't it uh, yes it was a bit loud and sadly it continued to be loud uh, mark 7 jaguar beautiful mark 2 jaguar we're that's the owner there we were chatting with him earlier in the day really nice 3.4 liter i seem to recall uh, Triumph Stag, but the indicator side light units are upside down. Uh, Morris Oxford Series 6. Uh, my aunt used to have a Traveller version of one of these, brought back many memories. Uh, Morris Minor with a few tweaks to it. And next to that, we've got a Farina. So this is the posher version of the Morris Oxford. This is the Walsley, I think, 1660, because it's quite a late one. Uh, Series 2 Land Rover next to a Jeep. I love the contrast. One very much inspiring the other. Uh, obligatory Escort RS2000, this lovely Hillman Avenger we see quite often at local rallies. And uh, we've just been chatting uh, to the family that drove these three cars down. Um, Isabel drove the Mini down, she only just passed the driving test. So that's her first time driving a Classic, I think. And that's her mum's MGB. And uh, that's Hugh's TR6 that we've seen at many events. What a nice family lineup. Lovely family so lineup. Cool. Yeah, yeah, lovely. And then we got the Panther Callistas. They always have a strong display here. So it's um, unusual to see so many of them. We saw two at Cardigan. I think possibly those two. But um, got four of them assembled today. So a good following for these uh, very rare cars. Kirk has just bought this car. Lovely Mazda 323F, 1.5, same as my old one that I took around Silverstone. Uh, many years ago, five years ago now. Uh, his is less rusty. Good to see. Also, not rusting, this uh, Re Reliant Rialto. Uh, it's an early Rialto. I'm not sure that's on the Galvo chassis. Uh, they did change over to Galvanized. Little rally Ford car. And then, monumental, look. Christina, the BMW, Leanne. is actually here. And, uh, Leanne's not here, apparently. Leanne's not here. Oh, uh, yes, we'll just yes, remind yes, you yes. of this. So with the, uh, Use uh, discount code HUBNA and you get an extra ticket uh, to enter. The but simple way of explaining your car could look like these. It could look like Christina, yeah. That depth of the paint. And Monica. And Monica. <laughs> yeah, absolutely um, 
So it's lovely to see Christina out. Christina has been a, a little troubled, but here she is out <laughs> of the workshop. New injectors. Okay. Is that your description, Leanne? Slightly troubled. Yeah. <laughs> and then Monica with the most controversial headlamps ever. Yep, yep. We're looking forward to those oh, there comments. She goes. Yay! Yes. <laughs> Good stuff. Then we got a late mini with the um, Sport Pack fat arches. They ruin the dynamics of the car and make it slower, but they look really, really good. Looks cool though. It really looks really cool. Uh, this is a 2CV that belongs to the lady who's involved with the youth club that the uh, Hublets go to. So it's really good to see this here. I'm not sure I've actually seen it up close. It's got cutaway wings. It's got a PO front bumper that Citroen themselves fitted to a lot of their rally cars and the cutaway rear arches. So um, it's, it's like um, SUV styling before it's time, really. <laughs> A uh, little mini next to it from about 77, 78. It's a lov lovely honesty to it. Um, as has the uh, Ford Capri that we saw at the Cardigan Classic Car Show. Uh, found in a barn back on the road just a couple of weeks ago. Front bumper's brand new, otherwise pretty much untouched. Exceptional condition. It's a Mark IV Escort RS Turbo, I think. And uh, if you're just going to have a peek inside. Okay, if you insist. Uh, we'll j just look at the Recaro seats and just oh. reflect on the fact that Recaro has just gone bust. Oh, that interior Very sad is lovely. Times. Yeah, they made lovely seats. Matchy, matchy. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, next to that, we've got a lovely MX-5. I think mean, this might be a UNOS, might be an imported one. Lovely condition. Uh, TR6, I think we saw at uh, Cardigan Show and this MG Metro. With the red seat belts, all good times. Oh, and little red piping. Yeah. Very sweet. And then <laughs> we've got the Battle of the Cabriolets, the Peugeot 306 and uh, Mark V Escort. Yes. How long have you been uh, riding? I don't need to tell you I like this a lot. And, uh, so, yeah, we are so like you, Michael. And the Bolingo Camper, we had a look at at the Cardigan Show. And we saw this there as well, a little A40 Farina, a little local car. Speaking of Bolingos, possible Bolingo news coming soon. There is news, there has been progress. So more on that soon. A uh, little standard. I don't know much about the standard. Sorry? Oh, cable brakes. Oh, is this yours? No, no. I've had one. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah, 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 all mechanical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lovely, yeah. yeah. Is it a flying nine? Is it a flying nine? It is a nine. Yeah, yeah. Lovely. There we go, a bit of a bonus chat with someone who used to own one of these. But yeah, mechanical brakes, he was saying. Bit of a nightmare to keep adjusted. Uh, then we've got the Morris Minor, a fairly late one. Uh, we've got the Alfa Romeo 2000, beautiful car. Uh, the Mustang we see an awful lot. Uh, sounds uh, very, very nice. And the this Golf one's for you, Mini Hubnut, who will be your moderator next week. Indeed. Uh, Golf GTI. Very nice. And this uh, Ooh, Mini, let's have a look at the interior. Mini Cooper. This is wait, not wait, wait, quick oh, inside. Oh, we're sticking on the Golf. Oh, he's got the, it's got the Golf ball gear knob. I just enjoying the interior. Uh, get, get nice and close, oh, right, oh, right oh, up to the window. Oh, oh. I can see it, I can see it. There we go. This was lovely trailer did, don't vandalise. I'm not vandalising. <laughs> and uh, we've got a Mini here, Mini Cooper. So uh, this is, um, I think this is an RSP, Rover Special Projects Cooper, because it's got the uh, signed on its stripes. Um, oh, maybe not. This might be a regular production one. It hasn't got the half leather seats. So uh, maybe it's had a stripe upgrade. It has been uh, restored, I think. Got a Volvo XC70 here, why not? Cross country. High mileage club Volvo. And another little mini within this one round a fair bit as well, Ian. a little automatic. It's got and a high mileage club. It's mini sticker. friends are coming in. Oh look at that. Let's go yeah, I'm on it, I'm on it. Okay, off you go. <laughs> Chase the mini. Run, run, run. You're in the way now. Oh Ian! <laughs> Don't get squashed by the minis. <laughs> oh that's beautiful. Uh, lovely little Mark oh, right 1 mini coming in next to it. Ah! Ian! Beautiful. The Viva has made yeah. it! 
Oh, Rob's been having some battles with the Viva we tested a few years ago. That's amazing to see it here. We didn't think he was going to make it because uh, he came home in the Volvo, not my Volvo, last oh, night. Oh, that's but fantastic here it is. news. Brilliant. Actually, yeah, look at the rear lights. Well. Lovely. Like a miniature American car. Oh, wonderful. Oh, it's smoke. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I'm getting smoked. Out. I was like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, go. All right, here we go. We are battling with the announcers. We're doing our best. Uh, Reliance Scimitar SS1 for sale. It's got pop-up lights like a Porsche 928. Uh, this Gilburn, I think, packs a Jaguar V6 in it rather than the original Ford SX. So we imagine that car must go very well indeed. Another Mustang, rather more recent and slightly less recent, 10 years older next to it. That's mean. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a shame. Look at the Chevrolet Camaro, we see quite a lot. Beautiful car. I'm not sure I've seen this before. I don't know what it is. It's a beach buggy. But I've never seen one with this sort of front end on it. <laughs> Spreading the good word of Whiteland. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I see. Oh. A little MG midget. Uh, fairly happy. Very nice. Riley yeah. Lynx style tour. It was originally an Adelphi saloon. Ah, so it was rebuilt uh, in the style of the Lynx. Very nice. Uh, Mark 1 Escort. I don't think we've seen many Mark 1 Escorts today. Not yet. No. Another little Mini Cooper. That one from about Hi. 1987. Oh, there's the good people from Wheels for Wales. Yeah, yeah. Wheels we do for Wales fantastic meets. meets. And I've got an awesome weekender coming up. I don't think we've seen under the bonnet of the Caddy before. It now has a turbo diesel engine. So it goes a little better than it would have originally. And look at that paintwork. Yeah. Who did that? Who touched it? Who did, did the paint? Hmm. Yeah. See if we can remember. <laughs> Whiteland. Uh, this is a Ford Escort that lives locally. Left-hand drive import. Ex Greece, I think. Uh, MGA. Beautiful car. Lovely flowing lines. Uh, Morris Minor Traveller. And another Minor. Minor's obviously the car around here. Oh, very Loving much Loving the flowers so. in the back of that one. Miners and Fords. Uh, Mark II Lotus Cortina. So the Mark IIs were available in colours other than cream with a gold stripe. In fact, I don't think they did cream and gold on these. The twin carburettors, Weber carburettors, the twin cam engine from Lotus. Lots of fun. Uh, Triumph Stag. Volkswagen LT Camper. Devon Royalty. Wow. So that's a Devon conversion. Oh, you're desperate to go inside. I am, I yeah. Tell. Yeah, yeah. I've got a little Armstrong Sidley. I don't know much about this era of Armstrong Sidley. At, uh, oh, we're not there yet. So the Arm, Armstrong Sidley. I don't know much about this era of Armstrong Sidley, but you get the Sphinx uh, bonnet mascot, which is very lovely. Oh, 14 horsepower, apparently, with pre-selector gearbox. Uh, Armstrong Sidley did like the pre-select option and uh, we've got a few tests including a bus with a pre-selector gearbox rover p4 this one's got slightly matte finish paint i quite like that it looks like an older paint job and then we got a later maxi uh, this is just before they changed to the maxi 2 i think so this will be on hydro gas rather than hydro elastic suspension big brown comfy seats very very nice uh, we've got the um, capri we saw at the pembrokeshire show uh, and people were saying, how can it be a 69 on a K plate? The original owner, who has owned this car from new, bought it in Germany when he was stationed there uh, in 1969. Loving the uh, lamb's wool seat covers, a very common fitment back in the day. It's got 65,000 miles on the clock. So it's not like it's never been used, but it's been beautifully looked after and uh, lovely original condition Labor like that love, a lot. It? I've uh, got a Cortina 1600 Mark II, 1600E, sorry. That was the luxury version. Uh, then we've got the Volvo 240 Estate, headlamp wiper moment. Look at the size of them. Uh, Austin 7 Ruby, beautiful cars. Uh, the modified Ford Prefect, I think. I forget which one. They were available. No, it can't be a Prefect, it hasn't got four doors. Uh, so it's probably an Anglia or a popular base on that one. The Turner GT we saw at uh, 
the Cardigan classic car show, undergoing a little maintenance. Very, very rare car. Uh, MGB, I think we've seen before, very, and very the Morris rare. Minor. There were 10 and now there's five. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very rare. Heading to the back row where all the cool kids hang out. Uh, it's nice to see a round of 2013 Land Rover compared with one from the mid 1960s by the look of it. Show you that body wise, not a lot changed, even if quite a lot changed um, underneath. Got coil springs versus leaf springs and a very different mechanical package as well. That'll be a Puma, Ford Puma engine Land Rover on the end there. Sunbeam Rapier is a lovely example. Beautiful. Even the seats are blue. Have a little look. Lovely pillarless styling, so all the windows wind down. Very, very nice cars. Uh, Spitfire 1500. Uh, Volvo 28 V8 250 from the Cardigan Classic Car Club. Uh, Ellie the 2CV, sitting here looking as scruffy as ever. Something down. Oh, just pull the Land Rover down there. Yeah. Porsche Boxster. Another Volvo. Now, this has got some lovely details on it. It's Volvo um, 244. There's a 200 series four door, four cylinder. And uh, if you have a look back. around it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is the still a Volvo dealer in Aberaeron. Uh, so, it's likely they sold this car new. So uh, it's lovely to see. Just look at the size of the bumpers on that. We had a good look. Yeah, huge federal bumpers. Hasn't got the headlamp wipers, unfortunately. <laughs> Sadness. Uh, it's an old Morris light van, apparently. I don't know what year it is. But uh, let's go and have a look. Gosh. That is a basic interior. There is a speedometer. The speedometer is on the passenger side. The driver gets a clock. Apparently. Wow. Power it is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's some MGB here. Um, oh yeah, Tim, that's it from Cambrian Classics. <laughs> that's the one we took around um, Castle Coombe Racetrack. Had an awesome time. A very, very pleasant car. Uh, do we need to pause while well, the rain rains? Or do we just commit? Let's just commit. Another MGB, that one from around the changeover for rubber bumpers. So this is the Aberystwyth and District MG Owners Club, isn't it? It is, yeah. Oh no, this magnet is for sale. Eight and a half thousand pounds, and I think that is a lovely car to buy. B-series engine, independent front suspension. Very, very pleasant. Wait, I just caught a glimpse of some lovely wood. Oh, another Volvo coming in. Oh, I got it. Oh, wow. That dash. Yeah, yeah. It's just stunning. <laughs> uh, MGB I'm loving because it's on white yellow number plates perfect perfect for its age that looks lovely uh, we've got an Austin 10 I think but it's a rare um, Tora with, with dicky seat so it's got a little seat that folds out behind the hood so your children just sit out in the breeze uh, very similar to the car we saw down at Dunkirk there was some poor bloke sat in the back with an umbrella Oh, Didn't, did not look fun uh, lovely Mini 1275 GT with a square nose. The modern Fiat 124 Spider. I think that's going to be a definite classic of the future. I don't think they've actually sold many of those over here. Must have been abroad, still got his beam benders on. Uh, Gareth's RS2000 powered Escort van. I think it's RS2000. And another gorgeous early Capri. I think I've seen this at another show locally. I think it's a really low spec. I love the door mirror. Aftermarket door mirror. We were on everything back in the day. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so, Miss Hubner just have a catch up with someone from the village she used to live in. Beautiful Rover P5 in um, slightly faded condition. We followed that on a recent road run. Uh, Tim doing his thing. Um, MGB. This Mini is in a very interesting colour. That is not a standard colour, but I like it very much. That really suits it. Uh, Riley RM here. Very nice cars. Uh, a very early MG. Would this, would this be a midget? I don't know, I bet Tim knows, but he's a bit busy at the moment. Um, Escort RS2000, I'm guessing. Uh, Mark 1 Historic Road Car. Well, it's got quite the spec list on it. I'll tell you what, if I show you that, there you go. Pause it, you can find out everything you need to know about this car. 
Uh, MGB also looking a bit racy, no bumper, it's got chrome spot lamps on it. Uh, another little mini, it's on a J plate, but it's got the uh, sport pack look. Uh, I think we've seen the Merc SL before, and uh, I think we've seen the RAV4 as well. But look at this, Ford Probe. Beautiful. Unexpected, wasn't expecting to see one of these here. With those fantastic free spoke wheels, there goes the 124. It's got a moody exhaust, hasn't it? So yeah, Ford Probe, look at the wheels. Those are factory wheels on that. Lovely condition. Uh, so we've got uh, well, the traction engines just running up. I wish I could can get the smell over to you. Isn't that lovely? Beautiful. And the sunshine is arriving. So that's good news. So they've had to hold off the tractor parade because um, we've had a spell of weather, but it's going to get better. Oh, here goes a bigger one. Look at that. Lovely. So hopefully we'll still get a, a tractor parade a bit later, but I think there are more club displays we'll go and try and look at. And uh, there's a stand selling stuff. Some very interesting looking catering wagons as well. So more to come. I'm too lazy to walk over there. We're over here at the moment. Uh, Volvo 740 Estate and uh, Emir's beautiful Manta, which, which is, is for, for sale. sale. So if you'd like a Manta, you can go and check out a video I have done on that very car and uh, get in touch, ian at hubnut.org. But uh, I'll hand you back to my camera lady. Oh, hi. Oh, I'm just walking into a post. Like this post. Way. Um, yeah, lovely uh, Ford Capri Mark 1. This is a 3000E though, so that's got the three liter SX V6 engine. So um, potent, it looks, lovely uh, condition. Fierce. Yeah, we've got a E30 BMW behind it and uh, a lovely Massey Ferguson 135 tractor. Hugely popular tractor in these parts. I'm sure we'll see more of those as the day progresses. Don't worry, you can hear the stationary engines. We'll get there. We'll just have a look at a few more cars here before we do. Uh, local plate. Are these the club cars? Lotus Cortina. I don't know which club this is though, but uh, Lotus <laughs> Cortina Mark 1 with a famous paint scheme. Uh, Mark 2 Escort RS 2000s in the process of rebuild. That must be chuffed having that out in the rain. Mark 1 Escort. It was undercover until a minute ago. Yeah. We got this car, which I think. Oh, no, there we go. It's a Dodge. Dodge 6 for sale. Dangerous, dangerous. Uh, and then we got some uh, sporty focuses. ST. STs. ST. <laughs> and then the RS. I think we've met this RS before. I think we have, mm. yeah. Aha, uh -huh, I feel like somebody's got two. And this oh, is representing quite... Ted's Morris carriage, apparently. <laughs> Lovely little uh, mini, with some chrome adornments. Beautiful. Uh, Morris Minor here. I don't know if that's an, S an MM or a Series 2. I forget how you tell from the outside. I think it's an MM, judging by the dashboard. Let's have a look. Oh, it's got a tax disc that says 1954. Yeah, I think this, this Series oh. 2 had the, the central speedo Moment like this one. for the roof. On oh, yeah, one. which was, I think that was that done was by Lewis. Whiteland. Yeah, yeah. What, Whiteland Restoration that do paint, that you can have a paint job done yeah, by? Yeah, yeah. That Whiteland yeah, get lace work done, he'd love that. <laughs> a Morris Minor Million, all lilac. I love these, I think they're gorgeous. Yeah, you got to zoom in on the badge. The oh, specially yes. made yes, Minor yes, Million yes. badge, rather than Minor Thousand. <laughs> oh look, it's an object of your desire. Isn't it, it is, it's the gorgeous acclaim of the local plate. We saw that down at the Cardigan show. And uh, Triumph Herald. From about 1967, I think. Right, we're back with this one just because this is a Series 2. So it's got the overhead valve engine, the uh, early A-Series engine, 803cc. And we have learned that this is the giveaway. So an MM would just have a chrome strip continuing up the bonnet. This has got the M handle, which gives it away as a Series 2. So a and wasn't there something about commercials in that detail? Yeah, commercials kept the strip. So we'll go and see if we can find some, because there is a commercial section, I think. And we'll see if we can find oh yes we haven't seen the trucks and whatnot yeah. yet but next stationary engines 
Here we go. Then I should probably shut up and just let you listen to them because they will run all day. How one's powering a lamp? Yeah. Until I said that, and then it wasn't. <laughs> no, I do it. I lift them up. Yes, you're a bit taller than I am. We have a motorbike section, but they are so dangerous that they are kept behind bars. And scooters. Yeah. Oh no, sorry, no, you can walk in to have a look. Uh, so it just um, marks them out. Lovely Norton there. Kawasaki with a Transverse 4. Gorgeous little Vespa. And uh, a very big stationary engine. I think we've seen this before. Mmm, heavy oil smells. Oh, look, there's really traffic over there. I tell you what I'm... Oh, oh I tell you what I'm really enjoying is that the cab is just wiggling just slightly. It is just rocking back and forth. Just gently. Yeah, shows you oh, the this. talker. Look at this. Yeah, look at this. It's an early look Dennis. That. <laughs> that is um, astonishing. And just think, you earned your money back in the day driving one of these. Creature comforts? No. None. <laughs> Zero. Yeah, it's probably better if you do, Chuck, because you're a bit taller than I am. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no, about coming in. Ducati. Um, yeah, we've got a Volvo here, which very nearly gives us a headlamp wiper moment, but the blades are missing. Uh, so, yeah, probably best I do the trucks, I think. That's an F717 with a triple wiper setup. Very nice. Uh, ERF. Uh, big eight-wheeler four axles I wasn't, Thanks, I wasn't expecting the trucks today this is a bonus oh i knew it? they were here i saw on the on the facebook yeah wonderful it puts me in mind of the truck at that scrapyard do you remember that was yeah. due to come out wasn't it uh, s jones and son are based in Bafania, which is just up the road uh, bedford o type i think uh, the bedford ca lives quite local it does look local that. and they did have, I don't know if they still do, a larger bus and they used yeah. to be on Heartbeat and that kind of stuff. Oh yes, they've got an OB. And then we got this um, enormous later ERF towards the end of ERF production. Oh, look at the colour. And a that Leyland Daff lovely. 45 150 Turbo. That is a lovely colour. Oh, look at the sticker. Oh. I see a 131. Oh. Just the one 131. Which one? Where? And another 2CV. Oh, okay, we'll be heading back over. Have you looked at the racing smart? We haven't looked at the racing smart. Go. Oh, okay, go. Clag is in the air. The tractors are firing up. Oh, this should be fun. Look at this um, little one here. Ian. Oh. Penny farthing. What? Penny farthing. Oh yeah. Where? Here. Just oh yeah. Here. In the middle. Penny farthing. Oh wow. A uh, little grey Fergie firing up. Hello. Hello. Oh, that sounds nice. Yeah, all the cameras are getting, all the tractors rather, are getting ready. Oh. No pressure, Hugh, but he's firing up the field marshal. So stage one of firing up your uh, field marshal is the glow plug, which you kind of have to make yourself. You have to light it like a fuse. I see that. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Wind is causing a little issue. So then you insert your lit glow plug. <laughs> and then you have to get very manual. It's a huge single cylinder engine. I think it's a horizontal cylinder. There she goes. 
That's how you start the field marshal. Wonderful. Look at that, the whole thing is shaking. Actually, the image stabilization is cancelling it out. It's rocking backwards and forwards. There you go, now you can see it. Big talk. So, yeah, other tractors a bit easier to fire up. Quickly go down the line. Look at this one. Fordson Major Diesel. It's got a Detroit. Is that going to be a V6 diesel? I think it is. Holy smokes. I'd like to hear that one fire up, but it doesn't seem to be as yet. Uh, Mackie, Massey Ferguson 1150. Quite a lot bigger than your 135. Oh, the ice cream, oh, the ice cream van has been on the move. Um, moved out of the way so we don't get flattened by the tractors. Intimidated he was. That makes sense. Lovely. And then yeah, like I said, the, the 135 is very popular here, so here's a pair of them. Running away. Lovely. Is that a little three-cylinder diesel? I think it is. Hughes off, he's had enough. So we've got something interesting going on here, trying to do a tow start, I think. But Hughes just going for it in the field, Marshall. Ian, while he weren't looking, one snuck in the arena. Oh, he snuck in. <laughs> he's fought some major diesel. Oh, we're going for a tow start. Oh, we got a chain on now. Hey! Aww. There we go, little tow start. Brilliant. One tractor helping another. Oh, we've got it in a high gear now. Look at him go. So this tractor, a fun fact is, it was driven from Aberystwyth to down near here. And imagine that, that must have been slow, slow going. Right, see what else joins the tractor parade. There we go, Massey 135. Oh, this one's got four-wheel drive, look. Seed hopper on the back. Oh, look at that, he's an oily rag oh, resto. Oh. Matthew Ferguson, 65. All the lock. Another Fordson Major. Massey Ferguson 35. Oh, it's going to be interesting seeing some of the big ones get around here. Oh, love the attire. Look at that. We'll, we'll try and help out a bit. We'll make this a bit smaller, maybe. 
because we got some big stuff to get around this corner oh look at this oh my god that sounds amazing V6 Detroit diesel I can't quite get over this one it looks absolutely insane surrounded by tractors this is what makes a well show just a bit different oh I love that Oh, it's 7810, pair of them. These used to be a very common sight. Love the cab on this uh, Massey Ferguson 65. I have no idea what that is. Hydraulic loader on the front. And McCormick International. So that's a beautifully restored McCormick International. And here's one that's a bit more oily rag resto. And another Massey Ferguson 135. And that would appear to be our tractors. So uh, we're just having a bit of a look around. We've got this smart roadster race car, which is quite intriguing. Uh, looks rather specialised. I don't think it's um, entirely stock, you know. Blimey. Uh, yeah, that's not a smart engine. Uh, Jaguar, is it? Jaguar starter mode. Blimey. Big old V6 engine, lots of space frame stuff going on. Interesting. BMW i8. Oh, very uh, striking car. And we've got a Fiat 131. And uh, we've got a 131 test coming up. Uh, on the channel. In fact, it's probably already been out. So this is an earlier mirror Fiori with the earlier rear light treatment. Well, we're still talking about tractors behind us, but look at this lovely old Austin food van. No, no it isn't, it's another one. So that's lovely to see. But I think I'm liking this one even more. Look at this. It's what's known as a thruppany bit cab because it was kind of a di diamond shape. The doors on the normal cab, you kind of entered from behind the cab. So that is a fantastic thing. We may have to sample its wares a bit later on. We may have to. We may have to. Yeah. But this is the house, isn't it? Yeah, this is Santa uh, Caron. We haven't got your mic on. So yeah, this is the house. You have to apologise for the very loud Welsh behind us. But uh, this is Santa Caron House Park National Trust, I think. It is indeed. This is our local National Trust property. Um, lovely walk from here to Aberaeron and back oh yes or from Aberaeron to here yep and uh, the house itself is beautiful they do a lovely Christmas fair as well don't they, they do we came here oh. for the Christmas fair it was lovely Christmas fair was fantastic yeah, yeah. so yeah that's the house and used to be on was it the Aberaeron to Lampeter line oh yes so there are a couple of train stations around here I think one of them isn't original I think it was a rehash but yeah there's lots of uh, railway history around here lovely so Miss Hubner is quite taken by the gypsy caravan so you go and have a look wow gosh I uh, need to go wider screen bunk beds all mod cons even a cuckoo Incredible. clock I love oh not the quite a cuckoo also. clock <laughs> yeah the carpet wow what a beautiful, beautiful thing. Amazing space. And the top on the outside says Trigaron. Yeah, interesting. So the reason this gets me quite excited, apart from the fact it's a camper and I'm obsessed, is that um, there's a Welsh author called T. Shell Jones, and he wrote a book called Tan Alla Common, and um, it was about the gypsies and whatnot. And it, this just evokes that book. So this is a nice car, and the Cardi Cranks 
lineup, so it must be a fairly local car. It's a Citroen Light 15. It's a slow built UK model. For some reason, the slow built cars had the chevrons behind the grille as if they were almost trying to hide it. Uh, nice detail is this is the gearbox, but this is where you attach the starter motor. It goes right through the gearbox to start the engine. So, a lovely car. Lever interior in the um, British built ones, of course. The gear lever flopping out of the dashboard. Uh, I'll try and show you, but it's a bit difficult, it's a bit shiny. Uh, they didn't move the gear lever, that's where it sits on the left hand drive ones. How long have you had? Lovely. Well, we are taking part in the parade. Over there is Lewis in Christina, and uh, yeah, we are pottering around behind the Austin Ruby. Uh, having a lovely day. Get some shots I can't normally get. But uh, yeah, everyone coming out to have a look at the lovely motor car. We've got the Porsche Boxster behind us, uh, Kirk and his Mazda behind that. So we're just having a parade and I think we're going to have a chat um, in a bit as well. So get, people get a nice bit of hydrocarbons with their chips. Perfectly good paintwork. Okay, this could be yours for £10 only. If you come up to us, we have these leaflets over here. You just have to scan the code or go to our website here and all you have to do is pay £10. Only pay £10? Pounds. Only £10. Yeah, paint works like this on your car. So we're now stalking the ordinary car park for interesting stuff and great success. It is a Vauxhall Frontera. Uh, it's got the 2.8 litre Isuzu engine and it's just the brightest green you have ever seen. That's amazing. The Frontera Sport being the free door. So that's a great sight to see. The last car built at Luton was a Frontera. So this is an Isuzu Moo, mysterious utility, but uh, amended a bit by Vauxhall. It's got multi-link rear suspension, whereas the early ones just had leaf springs. And uh, you had Vauxhall petrol engines or Isuzu diesels or a VM diesel. We've been trying to find this all or day. Or Vauxhall's own we? diesel. We, we have been yeah. trying to stalk this car all day, so we finally found it. Huzzah! Right, we've got Ian taking uh, the opposite line to Kevin, going to, going to the left here rather than the right, but it might be a slight deviation and trying from the other side. Right, any, any more? Are there any more takers out there? Don't be shy. Right. Arwin, I think we'll have the uh, tractors back in the ring after this. If you could try and, and organise some tractor drivers to bring some tractors back in. Yeah, all tractor drivers. Uh, it doesn't seem that we've got any more takers for this competition, so let's have the tractors back back in the ring and then we'll have a chat. So I'm sure we've got people around the ring that weren't here this morning and they did love to hear the history of your tractors. So if you could bring them in and uh, we'll have a chat in the ring. Thank you. Um, and that He's doing well. Okay, forward. Thank you. Right, a nice round of applause for Ian. Uh, what was the time, Oz? I've only got stubby legs. Come on, get them pumping. They are, I might die. 